shall I start us off so I can show you what to do? So my name is Jackie and peace for me is about family and it's about knowing how to get along with other people. My name's Faith and peace for me is people to leave me alone. My name is Grace and peace is for me is calmness. My name's Annie and peace for me is making friends. The change I think I want to bring about through peer mediation is really developing children's confidence to know that they have choices that they can make when they're in difficult situations, that they don't always have to go to an adult to help sort out their own problems and that the answer to their problems lies within themselves and not necessarily within other people. Okay, who can remember some blaming language? We did the, quite a lot of this. Um, I'm going to do an example with Poppy. So, um, you stole someone's robot, that's not okay. You no, I did not. No, I did not. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. So, out of these words, which words are the blaming language? Which words are the blaming language? Yeah. Yeah, on purpose, well done. So when you're mediating, it's really important that you try and take the blaming language out of the stories that they tell you, okay? And that helps to calm the conflict down and takes us back down that conflict escalator. Understanding blaming language is the one thing that adults and children seem to love to know because they recognise it. Adults tell us that makes a difference in their relationships with their children or their partners at home or you know in the wider world as well. We're a restorative school and our conversations are all restorative. So we look at how, what's happened and how we're going to resolve it and how we're going to move forward. I think to make this kind of program effective, you've got to have a team ethos. It's got to be very much about everyone's on board with this. It's a whole school ethos and I think that is massively important. Peer mediation will happen over lunchtime. It's very much like you know, our restorative conversation with our um, restorative questions. Exactly like that. It's just going to be like an adult be there, just support if I need to. Because Your whole reason for being here is because you want them to be able to sort the problem out between themselves without, and all you're doing is just prompting them. But the solution for the problem lies in these two. So peer mediation is conflict resolution for young people by young people. So young people are trained to sit down with two children who have had a dispute and they help those two children come up with a solution to their problem. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our groups of four like we did last time, so we can all have a go at being mediators and being disputants. Hello, welcome to mediation. I feel really special about being a peer mediator because uh, before I was being a peer mediator, then I wasn't really that confident in stuff, and being a peer mediator, it kind of made my confidence grow. So why don't you ask them to have a conversation with each other now, see if they can come up with a solution. What could you, Faith, do to make things better? Put my name on the bottle. I think we should just say sorry and get stickers on our things. I want to be a mediator to help people and make people happy and calm and make new friends. If you look at the children that choose to do peer mediation, they've really got that bit between their teeth of the idea of actually I could make a difference. It's a life skill and I think we want them to have that life skill of developing their own strategies across the board so that when they go into the workplace and they've got an issue with somebody else they actually know what to do with it and our school is all about building that opportunity to further yourself and I think that's, that's something the peer mediation will really do for these children. I do think every school could benefit from peer mediation, but if you are motivated by peace, if you believe in peace, if you're not ashamed to talk about peace, then that's when transformation can happen in your, in your school, but also in your community. Last one, ready? 